Hi, good morning everybody. Uh, I want to show everybody today the iDoing head unit um, that I installed into my Pajero Gen 4 um, short wheel base. So just a couple of things that uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through. Uh, I must say this unit is a very, is a very nicely well built unit. Um, I'll put in the specs and everything uh, for the unit a bit, uh, a bit later on uh, during the video. Um, I took a bit of a bit more expensive model uh, to actually cater to to last me longer than the cheapest uh, than the cheapest version I have. I also place in the where I bought the unit from. Uh, I got it imported from overseas. So yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so first of all, uh, I'm going to go to the radio. So. So yeah, I've got the radio. Uh, I've got the radio already tuned in. I've got a couple of uh, channels uh, broadcasting from South Africa, and uh, got a couple of things going there. Then uh, going back to my main screen, the radio does play. Does keep on playing when uh, when you do change. So it will only stop playing when um, when you are actually. Um, going to one of the cameras I'll show you that as well we've got a full I've got a forward camera on the vehicle and I've also got a reverse um, camera as well so then uh, the one feature I don't like about it and it seems to be a, a problem with all the Chinese versions is the Bluetooth uh, or not the Bluetooth module the phone um, app on this uh, on this on these units um, it's it's yeah it's a bit dull and there's, there's nothing happening to it it says Bluetooth but it's actually the phone app so if I go into the phone app it gives me I can dial the I can just dial numbers I can search um, I can here's the last here's all my numbers um, so the one th one thing I don't enjoy about it is the fact that it doesn't have the op you don't have the opportunity to actually save some of your contacts as favorites uh, so that is, is a bit of a this bit of a slip um, then I'm gonna go to the app which I've already done in the other one so I'm not gonna redo this one I'm just gonna show it this is my talk app it's connected to a Bluetooth um, unit uh, on the OBD port so if I go to the and the app is talk so I've set it up already with a couple of dials and stuff the, I think the most important ones and obviously I'll change that a bit I've got revs I've got GPS speed um, I've got kilometers per liter average I've got my coolant I've got my transmission temperature I've got my bearing now the bearing only works when you're actually driving. When you stop in stationary, then it, it reverts to north and south to default setting. And then I've got my vacuum boost. So if I give it a bit of a, get a bit of a gas, then uh, it obviously goes up, and, and including that to revs as well. Okay, then going to the front camera. So I've got my front camera on. There's my garage um, front camera really well. I'm actually really impressed. It's one uh, 180 uh, 1080p SD card inserted as well. So things are looking well there. And there's obviously a couple of changes, uh, things you can change as well on this one. Um, it's got um, ADAS. Um, I'm not very fond of the ADAS. Um, not maybe on this unit, I haven't actually tested on the unit, but I had a previous unit which I tested it on and it was very, very sensitive. So I decided to just switch it off. Okay. And then the one which I do enjoy quite a lot is my reverse. Um, so as soon as I put the vehicle in reverse, then the reverse camera comes on. And I can see this actually helps a lot when you reversing and need to hook up a trailer and you are alone you don't have somebody to guide you this actually helps um, helps out quite a lot um, I do need to move the, the uh, reverse camera down a bit um, and, and I'll show you the mounted section there at on a later stage because you'll see at the top left and the top right hand corner there's a black portion there 
So that's the portion of the rear wheel that's uh, in the in the camera view there. Okay. Uh, what else can I show you? Okay. So it's a normal Android unit. Um, you've got your all your other settings here. You've got an easy connect. Now that's almost like Android uh, Android Auto, where you can access your cell phone directly from from the from the head unit. You don't actually have to use it on your. You don't actually have to use it from the cell phone. I'm not very fond in it. Fond of it. I've got another app which which I'm using for that. You've got your steering wheel controls um, that you can set up on your vehicle. I haven't set up mine um, as yet because my volume and those buttons. Um, I think there's something wrong with my clock spring, so I need to need to get a new one or need to get it um, repaired. So that's why I haven't set up mine. Um, although my ghost settings, uh, my cruise settings, and all those kind of things um, still works. Um, yeah, then you can use, you can access the internet, you can set up your emails, I haven't set up mine. Uh, um, and then one other option, one other thing that I want to show you everybody. Um, you've got built-in maps as well. Um, I don't use the built-in maps. You've got it here as I go um, Primo. I don't use the built-in maps, so it's not going to load when I actually start it up. I actually have got an app installed on it which is Head Unit Reloaded. Now that is an app that mimics, or well, it doesn't mimic, but it's an emulator for um, Android Auto. So you basically plug in your phone, and as soon as you plug in your phone, it. Okay, there we go. Um, right, so, so there's Head Unit Reloaded. You can go to your apps. Um, yeah, you can view all your apps. You can go to a phone. So you've got the phone function on this one as well, and you can actually access your your favorites from here. So if you if you want to do that, uh, but you can do everything from here. So that's why and that's where I've got mine. Okay, and then yeah, you've got the you've got the Android Auto experience. Um, through your head unit you can also I believe there's a dongle that you can buy that you can plug in which which works a bit better it's almost like emu also like emulate emulator uh, I don't know I didn't go that option so um, yeah that's the that's the I doing head unit I must say guys from I doing very well um, I haven't had any problems with them I have sent them a couple of emails and stuff and They've always come back to me really well and, and, and fast and good. So I have really not have any problems with them actually communicating and, and doing things through them. I would really, I really recommend them. Unit is a well-built unit. Um, I'm not going to do the installation video for everybody because um, there's another Oak. Um, I can't remember his name now. He's in Oz. He actually did, the, he's also got an ID, ID in unit and that is also the reason why I bought one. Um, is because of that and um, he actually did the whole install video and did it really well so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through that I might actually cut, just put up a couple of photos on as to how I did the unit um, I did the, the it's got a separate microphone so the microphone actually rooted I rooted it through my red right and uh, pillar the up pillar in the front and got the okay, got the camera out there um the forward camera i've just placed underneath the um, the rear view mirror and i routed the cable through the roof through the roof down the down the left hand side pillar uh, behind the dash and in so i i try to do a lot of the cabling very nicely and very neat um i've got a usb cable that comes out i'll show you i'll, I'll post a picture of that as well the reverse camera uh, a lot of people routed through the roof I did not want to go that way. I looked at it and, and looked at it from different angles and I thought, no, you know what, I'm not going to go that way. I'll rather root it. So I rooted mine through the bottom section. Um, it's got a, it's got a, like a, um, where the jack fits at the back of the Pajero. It's got a little plate there, a, a manhole, if you can call it that, hatch. 
Um, I routed the, uh, routed the cable through there and I actually routed it through the underneath the carpeting um, and came out at the back of the dash and routed it up into the unit. And yeah, that is it um, at this stage. Um, thank you very much. Cheers guys.